Hey, this is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat Adventures, and this is episode number nine. This is the episode where we install the Garmin Echo Map Chirp 44 CV. It's a combination uh, GPS chart plotter, depth finder, and fish finder. This is going to be part one of a two part series. This will be the installation of the Model 44 CV head unit. CV stands for Clear View. This is a custom installation that if you follow uh, this install, you will get fully functional uh, performance at all speeds. The transducer installation is going to be part number two, and that should be episode number 10. The head unit, this is the head unit right here. Big numbers, large buttons. This is the mounting bracket, all plastic, heavy duty plastic transducer and transducer mount and there's the power wire and the transducer wire and this is the disconnect there's a lot of hardware running around don't lose any of it they can lots of small pieces so the head unit goes into the quick disconnect the quick dis disconnect goes into the bracket and you're all set up this is my location what I did is I taped this up earlier and looked at it from a seated position and a standing position and said, this is it. This is where the rubber meets the road. And now you, you can uh, put your little indents and locate your mounting holes. You'll notice that the lever is up. This is the inside under the dash underneath the uh, seat. Where those red X's are is where the holes are gonna appear when you drill through the dash. You need to look under here and make sure you're not going to hit anything. There's a lot of wiring under there. These are the three holes. They've already been drilled. I put the tape up, already drilled them, marked them, and drilled them. One of the key important points is to already have your wiring set up, connected to your battery, and run your transducer wire to the back. This is the bracket. You can take the uh, mounting bracket apart into two pieces. and you need to set this up. You need to buy some extra long screws. I do not know how long they are. If you need to know that, you can send me a note and I'll find out what size they are. They are extra long. They, I did not, I was not able to use the ones in the uh, package. Set your tape up. You've got, to drill the, you've got to drill this big hole because you've got to install the wires through the center of it. Now, when you're gonna set this up, you want to make sure that you take your bracket and angle it so when the where the wires come out and they go underneath and out from the bracket you just need to know where that you're either going to have the wires go up out of the bracket or from below you'll see this in a minute notice those plastic caps on the ends of the power wires those are so important to this boat or to this uh, feature the tape i put on there because i thought it was going to champ it was going to scratch against the uh the outer casing wires and it might cut through them eventually and I decided now nah, I'm not going to take any chances so what I did is I grabbed some wire uh, wire loom the plastic wire loom that you can get from an auto parts store I've got uh, some leftover blue from one of my personal watercraft wiring uh, projects and I decided to run a piece of it up through here so there it is right there so these wires need to come up and be squished against the the dash and then extend around to the quick dis disconnect so you need to leave about eight inches of wire hanging out you're going to run the uh, bracket right through this there it is I've installed it you notice that the wires are coming out to around the one o'clock position that center hole that has a screw that will mount the lever into that it snaps on and then there's the uh, screw your uh, power cable is the red and the transducer is the black the X is marked the area where you've got to run a uh, threaded um, screw back through it tighten it down that's the finished product the lever there will allow the first time installation of the um, uh, quick disconnect now the quick disconnect does not disconnect from this except I, I guess if you need it to really what happens is the head unit will disconnect from the quick disconnect if that makes any kind of sense so you're going to install this you're going to lift the lever up slide it in close the lever down 
bring the wires up through those three holes. You're going to use the left hole and the right hole. Here's this. There you go. Now, the holes have a keyway that you're going to see the wires come through. The left side will be the power, and they have a keyway. So the wires go in, and they can only go in one direction. I mean, they can only... They go in one direction. They don't rot. They don't rotate out. They just stay right in that position. And there's a little bracket that goes behind that that locks them in place. And when you're finished, and you want to disconnect your head unit, you disconnect it by that little lever that you can see above the. Uh, uh, you can just barely see it. You push that down, and the head unit will come off, and those rubber grommets will fit back over your power and your transducer connections to keep any water or any moisture out of that. That was a really neat feature. I really like that. So this is the finished install. Quick connect bracket is there. The wires come out at one o'clock, protected by the blue wire loom. Go into the back of the quick disconnect, the grommets to go in on the uh, power and the transducer connection. This is how easy it is to take off. You grab a hold of the unit, push with your thumb, disconnect. Repeat, reverse, installate into install. You hear a snap, good to go. So as we finish up, here's the actual unit in use. This is the Wynai Coast. It's at uh, early evening. I've got it in GPS plotter. You can see how the buttons, how big the buttons are here. That's the GPS plotter mode. Breeze up front and join it. She does have her life jacket on in this position. The water's real deep here. Even this far out is probably two or three hundred feet deep right there. One of the great things about this is it has, and I'm sure all of them do, but this thing is so cool. It shows you it has a shallow water alarm. This is the unit in service when you see the bottom and the water and you see their heights. And this is one of our local our local weekends we've had. I know everybody on the mainland is probably uh, having the uh, 20s, 30s, or 40s right now, and this is what we have out here in Hawaii. This is our winter. You can still see that it's beautiful out here. Hope you enjoyed the video. The transducer installation is the real, the real winter. The real custom installation is coming up. It's going to be at least 10 minutes long. Uh, hopefully, as detailed as I can be in 10 minutes. Uh, Hope you all enjoy this. Aloha.